Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much for joining me today. It is Monday, May 19th, 2025. More adverse weather here in South Dakota. Yeah, I'm right on the edge down over here. Um, they're saying we're having winds of about 36 miles an hour. I think some of the gusts are even higher than that. Yeah, we got a uh, wind advisory going on and this storm system here is supposed to come in later today. Originally it said it was going to be about oh, 09 a.m. thunderstorm, so we'll see. Yeah, it seems like we got gusts as much as what we had a few days ago. Now those gusts were about 60 miles an hour. There was people who did have um, down fences, lots of branches, tree branches that came down in yards and things like that. So I expect that to continue today. I believe it's got to do a lot with the sun and the impact upon the earth. A few days ago, there was a filament, a plasma filament that um, came off the northern edge of the sun. And here we have um, from um, Soho Movie Theater, we can see here another one that came off. For some reason, it's not running very fast. Hold on, let me see if I can fix this. All right, let's see if it'll run a little bit better. Could be the weather interfering. There it goes. Yeah, large plasma filament came off the northern. And this is what happened before. And, yeah, it's currently impacting or was impacting the earth yesterday. And we had unexpected auroras because of that. Those auroras were not expected. An unexpected G2 class geomagnetic storm occurred during the early hours of May 17th, sparked by a glancing blow of a CME, much like what we had um, earlier today. Um, it was originally expected to miss the Earth, and the CME was marked um, launched on May 12th. So five days later, it impacted the Earth. Yeah, you, you normally. Yeah, we get hit with them, um, you would think, much faster. But um, during that time um, with the auroras, there was this streak of white light seen. And some people, and even I thought it was um, a, a different type of uh, phenomenon called Steve. Um, but it wasn't. And the auroras and this white light was seen as far south as New Mexico. Well, it turns out that supposedly the white plume that puzzled so many observers uh, turned out to be a rocket fired off by China. Yeah, um, yeah, how can that be? They're saying that about an hour before um, the plume appeared across the U.S. skies, Chinese launched a startup land space um, um, zoo q 2e rocket um, and that's what people were seeing now the zoo q 2e is a new type of rocket powered by liquid oxygen and liquid methane um, they call it a meth methalock a technology and it's also um, being studied by companies like elon musk SpaceX. They're saying that it offers several types of advantages over traditional rocket fuels like kerosene and hydrogen. Methane is more easily stored, burns cleaner, and can be produced on Mars. So yeah, there's evidently a race to Mars with China. Here we have the current KP index, the solar winds. You can see it was as high as 6, and it's currently down to about 1, a little bit, almost a 2. Um, yeah, we'll see if this other filament does impact the Earth within 5 days, affects our weather. So here we have on the solar flare monitor an M3.27. I don't know if that is... The solar flare that we saw coming from the northern um, side of the sun. And then we also have 
um, a C2.28 and then yeah some smaller ones we got a C1.5 um, a C2.3 now the region of the Sun that kicked off the uh, last two X-class solar flares is now earth directed let me make that bigger two or four zero seven eight i think the reason that these filament plasma um, ejections and the coronal hole is affecting the earth so much more than what it has done in the past is because our earth magnetic field is weakening for the coming magnetic pole reversal and without the stronger shields protecting the earth yeah it's going to impact the earth even more so here you can see one heck of a large coronal hole this is an area of the sun where the um, solar stream comes off of and impacts the earth look at the size of that yeah it's a cooler area um, the plasma is cooler and then up over here to the top is where that um, filament broke off and and yeah we'll find out within five days if it's going to impact the earth and let me pull this down yeah this was the area originally uh, where the x flares came from we got something coming around um, the eastern disk and this is the area for the current um, sunspots that actually fired off the two X flares. Here's another image of that filament that shot off the northern section of the sun. Yeah, look how far up it reached. Besides adverse weather, it also creates earthquakes and affects people's health. So, yeah, keep an eye on everybody for the next few days. Yeah, and as for earthquakes, we've had several five uh, or greater earthquakes. There was a 5.4 today um, southeast of Easter Island, um, shallow. There was also a 5.3 um, by New Zealand. And let's see, a 5.1 uh, Burma. All total 83 for the last week, a magnitude 4.5 or greater. Here in the United States, there's been 102 uh, within the last 24 hours. Nothing on the East Coast that they're saying. Uh, my mother thought maybe yesterday she felt an earthquake there by San Francisco um, area. Uh, you can see today there was a 1.9 by Parkfield, a 2.0 by Ridgemark, California, a 2.6 that was actually classified as yesterday by Tom's Place. Um, California. Here we have the high energy proton flux. You can see around uh, 14th, 15th, 16th, 14th. Yeah, it really jumped and it's starting to go up again right there. So we'll just have to keep an eye on this again um, for up to five days. So here we have another image of that plasma burst that came off the northern side of the sun. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Always be prepared. It's going to affect your computers and GPS if it does impact us. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.